What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Acre Scuba Marina. I want to make a real quick video on buying new cylinders, visual inspections, hydros, and what you should be concerned with or what you should look at before you buy a new cylinder. Now here behind me I've got a slew of cylinders that we've got in to get hydro inspected or hydro tested and visually inspected this week which we've got finished up. However, a couple of these tanks were bought by a friend of mine and I want to show you exactly what to be careful of when you're buying new cylinders. So if we look at a cylinder real quick, there's a couple of things that we look at anytime that we go to buy a cylinder. One, I want to look at the date of when it was made. This one was made in April of 05. I typically want to look to see how much air I can put in it based off whether I'll need a high pressure or low pressure cylinder. Things like that really stick out to me. But let's look at the date, for example. Here you'll notice it says April of 2005, which is the original manufacture date or the first hydro, if you will, of when the cylinder was made. That lets me know this is an 05 model cylinder if we look at this one over here we will notice that it was made in 1973 so this is a May of 1973 model cylinder and that kind of brings up a red flag any cylinder before 1990 runs the risk of being a 6351 alloy now if you want to check out our video on 6351 alloy and you'll find out why dive shops refuse to fill them but let me do caution you just because it was made before 90 doesn't necessarily mean that it's a 6351 alloy and a lot of shops will fill them if there's not other indicators and what are those other indicators up here this special permit 6498 this automatically tells me that this aluminum is a 6351 alloy that is is too dangerous to use so fill operators will not fill this cylinder now this one's actually being condemned there's actually four cracks in this cylinder and you can see i've got a marked here that's on the inside of the thread so i've actually condemned this tank um, but when you go to buy used cylinders, that's something you want to look for. First of all, check to see if it's a before 90. If it is, that's the first red flag. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad cylinder. It just means it runs the risk of being a 6351. And then, of course, look for that special permit number. That's an automatic uh, sign that this is a 6351 alloy. So if you see something like that and you're in your market for a used tank, let it pass, just let it go. To be honest, this tank's not worth much more than just the scrap metal itself. Of course, you can buy it for a couple bucks, make it into a mailbox or a wind chime or something like that. But if you're looking for a cylinder to use, definitely stay away from those special permits on there. Let's go back over to here again. Usually when we buy a cylinder, something that you want to talk about or think about is the cost to actually get that cylinder back into service. Obviously this cylinder looks fairly new, so it's going to be in that 150 to 160 mark. However, you got to start thinking, is it visually inspected? Is it hydrostatically tested? Now, if it's not, you're going to have to start thinking about the price. Here at Lake Hicker Scuba, we charge $15 for a visual inspection. We also charge $37 for a hydro uh, test to be done on the cylinder. Well, when my friend bought this tank you will notice that the original date was 05 however there's a, a hydro stamp here of January of 18 so when he bought the cylinder he bought it under the consensus that this cylinder was hydrostatically tested now I'll go ahead and tell you this cylinder wasn't this is an illegitimate and an illegal hydro and let me explain why that is first of all it comes with being in the industry and seeing these tanks over and over and over again plus it, there's a little bit of background I need to explain to you our hydro test facility where we send these uh, cylinders we have used for many many years so i know these guys really well i know that they're a legitimate company um and the numbers that you see in between these two visual and, or these two hydro stamps here tell me a lot one of the things that we can do first of all the original hydro stamp has a symbol it doesn't have a number and that symbol represents luxford that is luxford's direct symbol if you'll notice here, this one says K755. This one up here says H004. Now, what we can do is actually run those numbers to tell if the hydro facility is a legitimate facility. Now, from my experience, I know right away, there's several other signs I'm going to show you, but I know right away this is an illegitimate hydro. This is actually an illegal hydro. Let me explain why I mean illegal. Here in the United States, all cylinders are governed by the Department of Transportation, which is the United States. States Department of Transportation and what they govern is the transportation of any pressurized cylinder. Sometimes you'll see CTC or TC which is Transport Canada or, or Canadian Transportation Corporation. Sometimes you'll see that as well which is okay here in the States. But with that being said, 
they also kind of govern who can actually do a hydro inspection as well. And we can run these numbers to see if they are a legitimate hydro company. But there's another little telltale sign I want to teach you about in case you're in the market for, a, say, a used cylinder. If you notice the original date, notice how everything is the exact same font, it's the same size, it's perfectly lined up but this one is not. Now there's two reasons there. One, this was done by a machine. They actually roll this stamp into it so it is gonna be uniform and perfect um, to where when hydro facilities do it, they actually do it by hand, but it's still a uniformed line. If you notice here, the one and the eight are completely out of line with this one and these numbers are not in that, that square position like they are up here. So that's kind of a telltale sign that this is not legitimate. Now, like I said, as a visual inspection center, we can actually call this number in to see if it's a, um, a legitimate hydro. Now, from my experience, this is not, and I've actually called this number in and verified it's not, but I want to show you one more way that I can tell this is not. Our local hydro facility, like I said, we've been using them for years. Here several years ago, they had some disgruntled employees that actually left the company and stole a bunch of their stamps, their hand stamps that they put in the cylinder. So they created a an illegal company doing hydros where they don't actually hydro the cylinder they just stamp on the tank now once again this comes from my experience in the industry guys i can recognize signs like this to where the untrained may not or the untrained eye may not so these are the things that you want to look for when you go to buy a used cylinder new cylinders they're going to be good because they're straight from the manufacturer and most dive shops will buy cylinders and sell them within a month of, of them actually purchase them so you know the hydro is going to be good they come with the viz when you buy it but when you go to buy a used cylinder several things that you want to look for is of course the original manufacturer stamp you want to look to see if there's a current hydro current hydros have to be within the last five years but then you want to check the the uniformity if you will of that hydro stamp and if you got any questions just pick up the phone call psi call P, uh, psi or call your local hydro facility and have them run that number and see if it's a legitimate hydro if not when you go to make an offer on that used cylinder of course you're going to make a, a little bit less of an offer knowing that you're going to have to get it rehydroed which in this situation this customer had to do that as you can see, here's the illegitimate 2018 hydro stamp. Here's the actual legitimate 2018 stamp. So that's something that you got to look for anytime that you're in the market for a used cylinder. You don't want to buy something that's going to be unsafe or that you can't actually get filled. Even though this was a good friend of mine, I'm not going to fill this cylinder unless it's properly visually inspected and properly hydro tested, which now that it is, um, I will be making a video in the future on nitrox cylinders. As you can tell, this cylinder has a nitrox tank or a sticker on it. I'm going to be making a video on nitrox fields for you here shortly as far as how how you know that you can actually put nitrox in a cylinder just because it has a sticker on it doesn't really mean much there's several other things that we look at as fill operators to fill nitrox and i'll be doing that in the future for you but guys if you got any questions on any of this check out our other videos on the hydro inspection video i'll link it down below and you can see exactly how they do a hydro test on it and also check out the video on the 6351 alloys and hopefully it'll make this video make a little bit more sense than what it does but guys if you got any questions please put it down in the comment section below as always make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on pinterest subscribe to us here on youtube and as always guys we appreciate your business Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.